day here. So it is a very beautiful Wednesday. I'm going to be spraying my yard with weed and feed. Weed and feed is a very wonderful thing. So if you want to know more about it and know how to do this, stick around. When I'm outside in our backyard, you can see this grass. So <laughs> got a lot of grass there to take care of. So one thing you need to know about weed and feed is it is not a really need. It's kind of just something if you want it. Your grass will grow just fine without it, but it just looks a little bit better if you do weed and feed and plus it takes care of those stinking weeds. But the two things that you need for this is the chemical weed and feed and then a little dispenser. There's lots of brands of weed and feed. I just grabbed the Scots one. It's called Turf Builder. And the basic idea is the weed part is it kills the weeds and the feed part is it really fertilizes and enriches that grass. So let's get this done. So I usually try to fill this little dispenser somewhere off of the grass because if you were to do this directly on the grass you'd probably spill the chemical around and that very well could kill your grass. But I got my nice little tool belt. Oh yes, got a pocket knife. We'll slice this thing open. You like the pink? Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you about weed and feed is it is a good idea to put this on before or after the grass gets watered. <sighs> it rained yesterday, so my grass is a little damp and it's supposed to rain again tomorrow, so that should be perfect. It's rained on before, I put it a chemical on, so it rains afterwards. So this is my little dispenser, you pull this, you turn that, and I'm gonna go back and forth. You gotta see how far out it sprays. Let me show you. So one thing to remind you about is it's definitely a good idea to wear a face mask, a PPE, personal protection equipment, and it can be kind of annoying when you're outside trying to do work, but when you're spraying chemicals all over the place, it's a good idea to keep your mouth covered. definitely needs it and if I wasn't going to use weed and feed I definitely would use 2,4-D which doesn't kill your grass doesn't fertilize it either but it definitely kills those weeds down below I'll show you my video about that so I am all done with this project and you can do it in the spring or the fall whichever one you'd like to just some time to give your grass a little bit of extra love. Now I'm gonna go have some fun. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.